Lovecraft loved ice cream. So much so that it was a topic of his personal letters. His friend Donald Wandry wrote, One afternoon, Lovecraft, Morton, and I took a bus to Warren, Rhode Island, where they promised a great treat. We walked into an establishment called Maxfield's. Its specialty was ice cream. 31 varieties on the menu. Are they all available? Lovecraft asked. No, the waiter replied. Only 28 today, sir. Ah, the decay of modern commercial institutions. Only 28. We each ordered a double portion of a different flavor. The trays came on and on. Chocolate, vanilla, peach, black raspberry, pistachio, black walnut, coffee, huckleberry, strawberry, orange, plum, mint, burnt almond, and exotic types whose names I do not recall. On the 21st variety, I was beyond capacity. I watched in awe while the remaining flavors arrived in huge portions. Lovecraft and Morton ate on. With a wealth of literary allusions on the origins of ice cream, its preparation in Italy, the distinctions between meringues, ice creams, and ices. I would estimate that Lovecraft and Morton consumed between two and three quarts. The occasion was so memorable that we wrote a note of appreciation, signed it, and left it on the table. A year later, when we revisited Warren, we were surprised to find our tribute decorating a wall. In one of his letters, it is mentioned, After digesting Warren's quiet lanes and doorways, we went across the tracks to Aunt Julia's, where we tanked up on 12 different kinds of ice cream, all they're serving at this time of year. In another of his letters to James F. Morton, Dear Mortonius, have just heard of a rival to Maxfield's, Chauncey E. Green of Hope Valley, Rhode Island, who offers 137 varieties of ice cream, though not all are on sale on any one day. Some of the bizarre flavors are pond lily, epson, mango, wild bee honey, dandberry, manzanita, sweet corn, guava, and snow apple. Aunt Julia will surely have to go some to lick Chauncey on variety. We'll have to investigate. I got this dope on Chauncey from a newspaper write-up. Only 12 old reliable staples, the same all year round, and six exotic brands change daily. It would take more than 20 visits to clean up Chauncey's repertoire. And in two other letters, Lovecraft remarked that his favorite flavors are vanilla and coffee and his least relished common flavor is strawberry. Put your favorite flavor down in the comments. Until next time, stay cool, Cthulhu Fatagan.